this. It's probably the number one destination for bachelorette parties in the world. That's why we are the, the penis necklace capital of the planet. It's, I have been a part of many bachelor parties over the course of my life, two of my own, but never a bachelorette party. So we did some digging and we got in touch with a maid of honor from Texas. She was throwing her sister a bachelorette party here in Vegas. We found out about it and we convinced her to let me and Guillermo take charge of it. So the bride was not in on this. The bride's friends didn't know we were coming. It was a real surprise. And here it is, Guillermo and I guiding a batch of bachelorettes. Something really fun that's going to happen right now. Okay. Are you ready? I think so. Are you sure? No. Okay. So I want you to come in here and. Hi, girl! Oh How are you? Oh How are you doing? Are that? you Val? Now, yes. Val, you're about to have the greatest night of your life. Okay. All right. Yes. Get on the bus. Come on now. Bus. Everybody, get on the bus. I'm Jimmy. I'll be your party guide tonight. You can call me Captain Jim. This is Guillermo, my assistant. That's right. Yeah! We have many events planned for you tonight. We have some choices, actually. We could go to Area 51. We could play paintball. We could go to the Hoover Dam. We could go to see Menopause the Musical. No? Or we could go to a pole dancing class. Pole dancing. Pole dancing it is. Let's roll. Val? Yes. A toast to you. You're getting married. Yes, I am. To Val, everyone. Woo! Cheers! Woo! Woo! I'm going to tell you something. This is my first bachelorette party, so I'm excited. Well, cheers, Me welcome. too, yeah. Welcome. Do any of you have any stripping experience? <laughs> no. OK, not everyone said no. <laughs> <laughs> so Val, how long have you known your fiance? Eight years. Eight years? Wow. How do you like his mother? I love her. You do? Yes. Good for you. I don't like my mother-in-law. No. <laughs> she got a good one. And that's an understatement. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I want everyone to stay Ooh. hydrated tonight, all right? All it's right. very important. Yes, sir. Let's go to the pole. OK, this is Stripper 101. We'll be learning to Polish dance. OK. <laughs> this is Heather. She will be your instructor. Fabulous. Wonderful. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Come on. Put your stuff down. You can use the cubby holes there. I put your stuff down. Cubby holes are for any of your personal belongings. <laughs> While we depart the premises, check your cubby holes for your own personal property, okay? Very important. Thank yes, you, Heather. Don't leave it. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get started. Our first tip is, ladies, you're always reaching nice and high on the pole. Yep, that's tip it. Tip number one, begin high on the pole. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Second tip is your feet, your toes are going to step in towards the base of your pole. Yes. So working it around your pole, up on the toes. That's it. Heather, I feel like I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. yeah. You got it. You look great, Guillermo. Yes. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to take us into what we call our alternating knees move. OK. So this is called the alternating knees move, everyone. Yes. OK, so we're going to go ahead. Just like it sounds, you're going to go ahead. You're going to kind of work the knees. Just like a Motley Crue video. Alternate the knees. <laughs> Alternate the knees. Yep. <laughs> That's it. You're going to go ahead from there. You're going to let your hands slide down your pole. Oh, oh, you're going to oh, get that oh, oh. booty up in the air. Now I want everyone to say together, why don't you love me, Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, Heather. Great job, everybody. All right, gather your personal belongings. Don't forget to check the cubby holes for everything. We have a surprise for you on the bus. So let's head to the bus. We have no time to waste. All right, so we have something special here for you. Val, this is 
I guess I don't need the bullhorn for this. Yes. This is this is Mystic Mona right here. Go ahead and have a seat right next to her. Okay, so what I need you to do is with your left hand, I want you to draw me five cards, just pull them straight out, leave them face down. Okay. How much are we betting on this? <laughs> How much do you want to bet on this? <laughs> oh, these are beautiful cards. Oh. Are they? Oh, so, good. Major card, major card, major card, major card. Pokemon card. Pokemon. <laughs> Okay, so here's the thing. Is uh, I'm going to go a little bit into your past by saying that... You've been with a lot of guys. Toads. Oh. <laughs> Along the way, there might have been a few toads. But your guy is a total keeper. What does this blue guy mean? See what you can get out of this guy. Right? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, this is a card that says you're about to get some sort of an epiphany or an idea of a new business. Oh, no, that's not true. This is saying whatever you do for work, you are good enough to teach other people how to do it. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Here comes the epiphany. What? Yeah. Here comes the epiphany. What? Right. What you teach people to get drunk at work? <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to read everybody's tequila leaves. All right. To Mystic Mona. To Mystic Mona. And her cards. Be careful as you exit the bus. It's time to go see naked men. All right, ladies, are you ready to party? Yeah! This way. Yeah! We're in the air, boys. Come here, baby, I got a little surprise for you. Thanks, Michelle. Michelle, is it true that everyone took off their tops in the bus after we went home? I'm going to feed the fish. Oh, my God. I, we miss everything fun, Guillermo. No, it's too late. All right. Well, congratulations on whatever the hell happened there. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the Internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.